Alright, welcome back everybody to more of the Sith Inquisitor playthrough. In the last video, we did Korriban Incursion in the Forged Alliances Part 1, I believe. And now we've gone, or now that we've gone and spoken to Lana Benico, uh, we need to go meet her on Manan to continue with Forged Alliances. So, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, while I'm at it, let's switch to the newer UI, which is just a little bit smaller. Like I mentioned in the, uh... Jedi Consular video that came out yesterday, I believe. Well, I guess it's today, technically. For me. <laughs> the day I'm recording this, it came out the same day, but yesterday in terms of uploading, so. It's a weird schedule I keep. Uh, but anyways, oh boy. Oh boy, it's been a while since I've been to Manan. Makes me want to play uh, KOTOR, because I'm pretty sure Manan's on KOTOR, right? Or like, Manan's from court, uh, KOTOR, or whatever it is. I don't know. I just know that I kind of want to play it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Although I am happy with my character. I did get the same gear. Okay, so... If you guys have been watching the uh, Knights of the Fallen Empire Dark Side, mostly, or mostly Dark Side videos, um, I, I have the same... Like, the gear that I got in Ovik, I kind of gave uh, Zemrix the same gear. I almost called him Zadrian. Uh, Zemrix the same gear. <laughs> Except... Uh, I kept the, the, the gold on it, which, I mean, it looks really cool. I personally like it, uh, well, except I'm using a different, um, foot pieces. But, I mean, I really like the look of this for whatever reason. I don't think it fits, I mean, I guess I'd have to have you guys tell me, does it fit the, uh, Sith Inquisitor or not? Probably not, because of all the armor. Uh, but then again, this doesn't really fit the Sith Inquisitor either. Uh, so we're probably just gonna stick with this for now, I think. I, well, I guess. I guess it's what we're gonna stick with. Just because you guys really seem to like this outfit. <laughs> oh, hello, Lana, before you got actually attractive, as far as character design goes. Hello. How's it going? Welcome. So good to see you again. It's always nice to see you, Lana. As implied in our last brief communication, Darth Arcus is at the center of a grand conspiracy. Arcus had the Jedi Temple raided to acquire knowledge of Rakata technology that he could use to harm the Empire. Even now, he plots against us. I know Arcus was a mentor to you. This can't be easy to take. He had me fooled for some time, but I see his true face now. I followed Arcus to a secure undersea laboratory here on Manan where he's working with a Selkath geneticist on something. I've been trying to learn more. I've also discovered that Colonel Darrock secured passage to the same laboratory. He was behind the Republic's raid on Korriban. It seems to me that Arcus and Darrock are working together. That's my feeling as well, but we won't know for certain unless we get into that laboratory. As I said, it's a well-protected facility. You'll have to make your way through heavily armed Selkath and dismantle their security grid. You're not coming. I'd intended to confront Darth Arcus myself, but I sense a presence here. A potential ally. I'll remain in touch and let you know how my search progresses. May the Force be at your service. Oh, it always is, Lana. It always is. Yeah, no. So, <laughs> I just want to explain a few things. The whole Lana's love, Lana's life thing that I always go on about. Totally started out as a joke in a live stream, um, where I started the romance with her in a live stream, and then everybody's like, "Oh, Lana, you like Lana?" And I was like, "Sure, Lana's love, Lana's life. Why not?" Started as a joke, started to become slowly become the channel's motto. Oddly enough, <laughs> I, I say the motto. Uh, it's just something a lot of people s tend to say whenever I stream Knights of the Fallen Empire, um, and that was you know way before Knights of the Fallen Empire came out, so. I'm not even gonna lie, that old model for Lana is not attractive looking at all. <laughs> but she's a different she's a different romance option. Um the new one looks way better, so I don't know. Nowadays, I could say she looks fine. Which is like, dude, shut up about Lana. Just thought I'd explain it. I just thought I'd explain it, okay? That's really all I was going for here. Um so it's not an actual obsession, although I do try to romance her with most of my characters. Just because it's fun. I don't know. 
I like her character a lot. I definitely like her character a lot. Post. She's probably my favorite uh, side character slash companion in the entirety of the game. So yeah, shutting up about Lana now because everybody probably gets has gotten really tired about me talking about that. This is um, Lana. Darth Arcus isn't far. Speaking I can of Lana. We have to learn what he and the Silkath are doing down there and confront him. To have your run of the place, you need to shut down the security grid. You have the coordinates now. I'll stay in touch. Hold on, I just want to look at the the textures for the, the helmets, because I know the other helmet that I was using has terrible textures, and they really need to do a texture update for some of their old gear. So, I mean, it doesn't look too bad from far away, but in the cutscenes, you could definitely see it was very pixelated and just didn't look that good. Um, but I'm pretty sure this helmet, which, I mean, take that off, it's white, but uh, it looks a lot better in cutscenes than this one does nowadays, which is unfortunate because uh, that other helmet or mask or whatever does some really weird things for the uh, the voice. Like, sure, it makes it sound all like, I want to say modulated. Definitely makes it sound modulated and whatnot. Both of them do. Um, but the other mask, the one that I think looks better as for, in terms of like texture, textures go. Um, it really just, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, it just makes it sound even more odd. So I tend to keep this, the helmet that uh, Zemrix is wearing right now, just cause it sounds better. Like it sounds like there's more bass in the voice, essentially. And I like that sound a lot better. Hello, Did I get messaged. No, okay. I've been running into fans a lot recently on the servers, which is pretty funny. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. It was... I guess it was when I was playing, like, non-stop, like... Because I just recently bought XCOM 2, um... And some other games. Which are really fun, so... I haven't been playing this as much. Like, I, I was playing this... For the sake of playing this, because I didn't really want to play anything else. For, like, two weeks. Who's already proved quite resourceful. He's learned of a prisoner in a security hub who's been scheduled for disposal by experimentation. This Jakaro sounds like someone you might want to talk with. Yeah? I can't understand you, Lala. I'm in the midst of battle. But yeah, no. Just. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I was playing this a lot, which is probably why I ran into fans. Cause... I don't know. I was. I've been at a stage for a while where I really only play this game whenever I'm recording it. Um, and then I hit that stage where, like, I wanted to have, like, Novik look super awesome for when we return uh, to Knights of the Fallen Empire or whatever. And so, I was literally playing with that character for, like, almost non-stop. Like, I, I'd wake up, I'd play, I'd record a little bit, like, of a different character, but then I'd, like, work on his alliance stuff. Um, and just like getting a ton of like money and whatnot. I don't know. And I did that for quite some time. If there's one thing I'm happy about now, though. Oh boy, if there's one thing that I'm happy about, it's that, uh. <laughs> Hold on. It's that, um, what's his face? He's way more powerful now. Uh, Zemrix is way more powerful. It seems like they buffed this just a little bit. Or I guess enough. Just enough. The, uh, the lightning spec. So the lightning spec is very powerful now. And I'm very happy with it. If they, if they never debuff this again, I will, uh, be forever happy. But knowing them, they will. Um, or patch it, or whatever it's called. Debuff. Because I know buffing it is when it gets stronger. What's the other term? I don't know. I, I kind of just woke up. Well, not just woke up, but I've been up for like an hour and a half. I haven't really been focused on uh, <laughs> this game for a while, so. Or really gaming in, at all recently. I've spent the last couple of days, like I've had a lot of stock footage, essentially, is what I want to say. Uh, or I've had a lot of footage where I haven't really been recording 
um, because I've just been using all the gameplay that I recorded and like uploading it obviously because you know that's what you do. That's what you do when you do this for a job, man. You record stuff, you upload it, which in retrospect I probably should. Whoa! Talk about ceiling. So, okay, um, shouldn't be doing this for a full time job yet. <laughs> Kind of more like income in the meantime. You know what I mean? Whoa! Kill the main guy and like the rest of them are just like nope. They totally noped out of this. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. What was I talking about? I talk about a lot of things and I forget when I like lose track. I don't know. Sorry, by the way. Oh! A boy, Zemrix. Interesting. We're rescued! <laughs> Jakaro! My most sincere apologies for his outburst. Please don't leave us here to rot. I implore you. <laughs> hmm. I didn't come here to listen to you bicker. Now say something useful, or lose the ability to speak. <laughs> I am C2D4, former translator to Her Eminence, Queen Lena of Onderon. And this is my current master, the renowned illicit transport specialist, Jakaro. A smuggler, in other words. Jakaro was hired, quite innocuously, by a Selkath geneticist named Garima. We delivered a large shipment of perfectly legal medical supplies here to this facility. Imagine our consternation when Garima then had us imprisoned and interrogated most harshly by two awful creatures. <laughs> hmm, interesting. So it's true. Darth Arcus and Colonel Darrick are working together. Better tell Lana. Is that significant? Darth Arcus has much to answer for. We shall endeavor to hurry and regroup with you at our earliest opportunity. You know, if it wasn't for subtitles, I would never understand what all of these alien races, like, you know, Chemvault, non-basic speaking alien races were talking about. I love subtitles. You know, it's funny because... Nice to see you've made a new friend, on. or friends, as it were, but as you know, you're about to encounter members of the Order of Shasa, force-sensitive self-cat who are neither Jedi nor Sith. Their complicity here does not bode well for us. Okay. Whatever you say, Lana. Whatever you say, Lana. Ah, but anyways, I just think it's funny because uh, before I started doing YouTube commentaries and just doing like gaming on YouTube, um, I used to never use the subtitles in games, and now I literally can't play a game without having the subtitles on. I don't know why. I, I just like the I like the idea of subtitles. <clears throat> I hate it when it's like on movies and stuff, but for whatever reason, if it's something I'm interacting with, they're very useful. And I love them. I love them like a man loves a woman. In some cases. Or, you know, parents love their child. Not really. That's very romantically. And I don't think I can get romantic with subtitles. With literal, just literally words. <laughs> I mean, you probably could. I'm sure someone has some sort of dementia that allows them to do that. I'm sure. You know, you're one of those people. And I'm sorry that I've talked down on your way of love and life. I don't know. Whoa, 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 buddy. I should be the only one using electricity here. I am the, uh, uh the, I don't know, the godfather of electricity now. I don't know. But yeah, no, man. Seriously, like in all seriousness, this spec has gotten so powerful. It could just be, I don't know what it could be. But it seems like they definitely buffed it. it. Seems very a lot more powerful than it was a few weeks ago. Which actually makes me want to go and make another Sith Inquisitor <laughs> male. I don't know. Our ally just 
just made note of strange power signatures in your vicinity. He believes they may be emanating from Rakata technology. It warrants a closer look. Tap into a nearby console so we can investigate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and you guys will probably be happy to know. At least some of, you know, you who seem to have a problem with me playing uh, female characters. That I've probably, I've kind of gotten out of that, that phase where, like, I only did created female characters. Like, sure, I'm continuing with the female characters I've made. Um, just cause, you know, it'd be weird to switch them out. Even though I seem to not, have, like, have any problem doing that with, like, you know, Beacons, Adrian, and whatnot. Um, but, like, I don't know. I, I, I tend to think it was a phase that I was going through, where I was like, oh, new customization, that's pretty cool. I'll still create a female, or whatever, but it's like, it's not my first choice. I don't know. I guess I really jump to the female customization when it comes to games where the male customization really doesn't matter that much. Because, like, almost all the guys look the same. <laughs> like, Swotor kind of has that unless you're playing a different race. Which, you know, whatever. But, like, all the human males look kind of the same. My, you know, give or take some hair color differences. But, I don't know. I don't know. I also hate playing, uh... With characters like the super bulky characters like it's one of the biggest reasons why I don't play um, Gears of War <laughs> is because of the the way the characters look like they're so bulky and I hate that look I really don't like that style I don't know why I don't know why it's also one of the reasons why I made an all-female squad in uh, an all-girls squad in the, uh, the first XCOM is because all the guys are super bulky, and I, like I said, I just don't like that look. Not when I'm trying to create, like, one of my characters. Like, a character that's supposed to, quote-unquote, represent me. <laughs> I don't know. Because I have this kind of body frame, or at least I used to. Now I'm a little bit more chubby, but... Working on it. Working on it. Details. Details. Whatever. Whatever. Come on, we feel the unlimited power. I can't believe I haven't even said that. I haven't even said that yet. Right, well, I just did, but I can't believe I hadn't said that up to now. I usually love to say unlimited power. I usually do. Also, I've been going through this weird mental state. Really weird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk this out, I guess. Um, and it has nothing really to do with Anything. I use this as like mental therapy for myself, essentially. Which is what you can expect that I do whenever I'm like talking about my personal stuff. I use it as mental therapy, essentially. Like commentary. I was thinking about the near futility of life. If that makes any sense. You know, like the fact that we're inevitably gonna die one day. I'm sure there's. Beliefs, religion, all that stuff. Which I personally... Whoa! Whoa! You know, screw what I was going to talk about. This is way more intense than what I was thinking of. That. I don't know. Essentially what I've been doing is depressing myself. <laughs> On accident. Like, unintentionally impress uh, depressing myself. Just thinking about stupid things. They don't need to be thought of. Holy crap, man, this is insane. Ow, oh, stop shocking me! I am the ultimate l shock master. Call me shock master Zen. Call him shock master Zen, man. <laughs> or, you know, Darth Knox. What are you really, what are you really feel? At this point, it's all luxury, you know? Oh, and apparently I was wrong. Darth Ark, uh, yeah. Darth Arcus was, is, was part of the Dark Council. I don't know. I know after this not so much, but I guess he was part of the Dark Council. Even though he never showed up to the meetings, come on, man. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Heal me. Oh. oh. That was almost bad. That was almost really bad. Jeez, that's what I get for being stuck in there. That's what I get. Excuse me, sir, I do not like the way you are trying to touch me. This is inappropriate. 
I prefer to live, thank you very much. Murder is very inappropriate. Unless, you know, it's me killing you. You mind? Let me thundering blast your face off. Lightning bolt to save the day. Chain lightning, because I love that ability. That ability. Someone pronounce that. She's meditating using her connection to Darth Arcus to pinpoint his location. She wanted you to know if I found anything, and I did. Energy readings from Garima's lab. Rakata Technologies firing up like crazy in there. Don't know for sure what's going on, but I can pretty much guarantee you it's got to be stopped. Hi, Theron. It's the first time we've talked. <laughs> Republic scum. Just kidding. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Maybe not. Who really knows? You must be Garima. Time to talk. Is Hoge so hard in Tertulisa? The hard way. Nembo King Avila Gito Turko. Latate Hata Mogot Ah. Hmm. Trouble is putting it mildly. I'm the thing that haunts you in your sleep. Estavo Lab Meg Mindil Uge. Oze Gisazos Homa Leban. Hosu idon kera stulas elva lasto as bult ahatasa. Amun kaja kostunk vota hoje mar imlet ete valahol. Nah, you're one of those guys, huh? Eves tob ere ni as igrit. Lane parnata fader zitin. He mustn't get another chance to betray us! Shoot him already! Let your hate be your guide, Jikaro. Finish him. How very unexpected. This is the potential complication you sensed? No, this is not my advisor, but rather an associate. It would appear Benico laid out a convincing case that I'm up to no good. Was she lying? Make your case for how you're not betraying the Empire with this Derek person. No, oh, I am most definitely acting against the Empire's narrow interests. But what I do is not for ill, it is for the future of this galaxy. Sorry to cut this short, but since we have everything <clears throat> we need... Kill you, Arcus. I'm gonna kill you, Arcus. And Derek, but mostly Arcus. You traitor scum. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting this is when they start to incor um, incorporate the little camera motions. Whoa! That was one powerful bomb. Oh, it's an EMP, probably. I would like to believe. Breathing now. As this facility comes crushing down upon itself, enjoy a preview of our infinite army. I can't see anything from the bottom of the ocean. Derek and Argus have checked all the emergency pods. No going back the way you came. The good news is I slayed one of the pods. Got a remote pilot headed for a docking hatch nearby. Should have the right now. Good See, Arcus, you set out to destroy me, but in theory, you literally flooding this has done nothing but assist me because I use a lot of nothing but lightning. So, uh, my electricity, in theory, would probably kill everybody standing in it, including myself, Kimval, and the droid. Uh, we're gonna pretend. I actually don't even need to pretend. Thank God, those physics don't seem to work. <laughs> in this game, um, but in theory, if I were to stand right here and do this, or maybe even this, everybody in here would be, well, shocked beyond belief. Oh! In theory, not in theory, in reality. That's what would happen, but, you know, who am I to put reality into a video game? That's right, a sane person. A real sane person. Thanks for watching. Sorry, that was my little game theory thing.
That's just a theory, a game theory. You know, I do gotta say though, I love this black and purple lightsaber. I love it. I mean, th this still looks cool to me, but it's much more of a warrior kind of outfit. Then again, so is this, but I don't know, it feels like more... This outfit, I keep talking about the outfits, still seems like something a Sith Inquisitor might wear. Potentially. Who am I to say, you know? But then again, you know, wearing, wearing metal would, in most people's minds, uh, kind of be bad on, for uh, anybody trying to <laughs> use a ton of electricity, I guess. Which, I mean, force electricity isn't like your standard electricity where it literally comes out of your fingertips. There's kind of like a space between you and the electricity that releases generally. Um, Nice. There seems to be one, and I'm stuck. I'm literally pinned up against this, this guy. Okay. Okay. This is how you want to play, man. If this is how you want to play, I can seek your. I can take your crap. I can handle you eventually, hopefully. Please be right. Please be right. Thundering blast. Chain lightning. Maybe even lightning bolts. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. Let me just go over here real quick. Walk through the fire, so you walk into the fire and you get burnt. You get burnt big time. Ow! Ow! Like, what do you mind? Do you mind, you son of a biscuit eating bulldog? I'm trying to evacuate immediately, but it's not working. This guy is not burning down to death. There we go. There we go. I am on fire. Oh, it's a good thing we're, like, standing about knee deep in water. I could. Literally stop, drop, and roll with maximum effect. Which is pretty nice. And then presume to electrify all of my enemies. It's a, it's a really beautiful concept, isn't it? Uh, where's the next little bit of fire? Where's the next little bit of hot fire? I have a lot of energy this morning. I just realized that I tend to not shut up when I have a lot of energy, as you have very well known. Probably. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Not oh, there. It is. Same area. Oh, thank you. That literally helped. Like there's literally nothing you could have done that would have helped me better. Would help me more, I guess, essentially. Oh, we killed him. Haha. <laughs> Take that, stupid droids. Always get in my way. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are getting in my way? I'm Zemrix, Sith Sorcerer Extraordinaire. Darth Zemrix, Sith Sorcerer Extraordinaire. <laughs> what am I talking about? Hang on. Emergency pod's almost secure, but not quite. Hi, Theron. With the Republic, aren't you? That's right. I'm also saving your lives. You got a problem with that? Just get us out of here. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Hurry! I wasn't built to survive the crushing depths! <laughs> okay, all set. Climb in and enjoy the ride. I don't know, Jakaro. Your fur looks very amphibious to me. I'm terrible at being sarcastic. God, I'm terrible at being fake sarcastic to a character who can't hear me. <laughs> I'm terrible at it. That is a cool escape pod, though. I will admit, it's a very cool ex uh, escape, escape pod. There we go. And then there's this, where I can just take some of that. They used to drop decent gear, but I guess not anymore. Um, I mean, you get them from this, but whatever. Oh, did I hit? I hit 65. Oh, does that mean... I got nothing. I got nothing. Okay. Whatever. Get me out of here. Beat me up, Scotty. Beat me up. Look at the low textures. Still looks cool. Still looks freaking awesome. Hmm. 
Back to Manan. I guess we never really left Manan, did we? I don't know. Alrighty. Well, what we're gonna do here is very simple. We're gonna activate my jetpack, because I could have, probably should have done that in the first place. Activate the little flare, because the flare looks awesome. Have a little three, three thing of a jig. It's too bad it doesn't actually make you go faster. That'd be so much, like, that'd be just awesome. Astoundingly awesome. If you activated that and just made you go whoosh super fast. You know, because whoosh means, I don't know. I say a lot of stuff, especially when I'm like, I've got a decent amount of energy. So I, I talk a lot, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello. Kind of ugly, Welcome Lana. Welcome back. Once again, you've displayed a skill and determination that few possess. I've seen worse. Perhaps I should make proper introductions. No need to tell me who I'm addressing. I'm Theron Shan, Republic SAS, and your new ally. If Lana vouches for you, I'll let that be enough. For now. Fair enough, Sith. The way we were fooled by Darth Arcus, the same happened to Theron, except with the Colonel. And between what you found down in that lab and what Lana and I pieced together, I can tell you they're both traitors. Arcus and Darak are in league with a dangerous movement, a shadowy cult known as the Order of Revan. If they're a danger, they should be stamped out. You underestimate the devotion that Revan's life and teachings have inspired. The Order of Revan used to operate in the shadows of Imperial space, but now their ranks include at least one major Republic figure. That means I can't trust my people and Lana can't trust hers. Present company excluded. And if the Revanites are building an army of cyborgs... <coughs> This is Jakaro. <laughs> and I am C2D4, former translator to her imminence, Queen Lena of Andorra. No one cares. Sorry. Hey, Jakaro, how would you feel about helping me track those two down? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll talk about it. Lana, will you be joining us? We don't yet know how deep the Revanite's influence runs. I must learn what I can from within the Empire. Go shaking your head, guys. Come on. You've done well here, as expected. We'll speak again soon. Our work here is done. Lana. Lana. Okay. Whatever. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. So make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you have not subscribed. All. Or if you guys like the Sith the Quizzer playthrough, um, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd be interested. And also, while you're doing that, let me know if you guys like this gear better which i really like this gear a lot <laughs> even the color of it it's really cool the whole gold or this gear i don't know i like both of them like equally but i'm gonna stick with this one until i hear from you guys so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out